Hey there, welcome back to my channel Code Canvas. In the JavaScript exercise video, we will create a variable using user defined name. So, what exactly I mean by user defined name? So, first of all, let's take one variable called username and username is equal to Mila, for example. Okay, and let me just console this username. So this is Mila. It works fine. So here, if you console this, then it will print the window object because here in the global context, this refers to window, right? So if you write this dot username, then it will return Mila. Also, you can write down window dot username and it will return the same value. So this is fine. This is very easy. The next step, let's take another variable constant called channel name. Okay. And give it a name. Let's say code canvas. Okay. So here I'm assigning value this dot username is equal to channel underscore name. So here I am assigning username value to this user defined variable and let's see what window dot username or window dot username returns. So as you can see it will return this value channel name right. So this is user defined variable and I am assigning this user defined variable value to another variable and you can also write down this dot username right. so this works with variable if i change it to constant then it won't work as expected of course you can uh, see the values but here what you have to do this of username is equal to channel name and you need to pass like array right so code canvas to for example and it will return the expected value so you can also uh, try window dot or window of username but it is very good to use this instead of this window object in the global context this and window object both refers to same value but it is good idea it's a good practice to use this okay so this was the quick example that how you can create a variable using user defined name if you like this video please give me a like if you want to see more videos you can visit my channel and subscribe also if you have any questions or comments please leave your comments below thank you